Meat Boy is back. Today, I'm going to show you guys the easiest way to preserve meat. So I'm sure you guys have been trying to figure out how to get food for the next few months. Who knows what's going to happen to us? So, you know, something like pemmican, you have to have your ovens running like 24 seven. It takes a long time to dry, requires a blender, very labor intensive. Uh, you have canning, which requires a pressure canner, you know, a piece of equipment that, you know, might not even be available right now. You probably can't get one. Uh, salting and curing the meat, you know, takes quite a bit of time. And that's definitely something you can do, you know, cover it in ash and salt. And that works for whole cuts. You can leave it for, you know, months and months and months. You know, of course, people might say, hey, just fill up the freezer with meat. But, you know, what if the power goes out? You know, what if that stuff goes bad? Uh, today, we're going to confit some beef in beef tallow. Uh, some of you guys might be familiar with a French recipe for duck confit, where they add a bunch of seasonings, and, and you could do all that fancy stuff too. Uh, today, we're gonna keep it simple with beef tallow and ground beef. Uh, so all we're gonna really do is throw some fat and beef in the oven for a few hours, and that's going to stay in the fridge for, I would say, up to a month, and it can probably even stay you know, at room temperature for a long period of time. And if you want to, I'm sure you could heat it up again, like a month from now, and then re-sterilize it, and then it will be good for longer. Uh, but this is a really simple and easy way to do like five, 10, 15, 20 pounds of immediately preserved meat while you're preparing those other methods, whether it's canning or salting or making pemmican. So let's get started. Here I have two pounds of ground beef. The best cut for this would be stew beef, or you could take any whole cut of meat and chop it up into chunks. What we have to do is we have to salt it, you know, pretty heavily. And we're going to let the moisture come out of this, uh, you know, for a few hours, for 12 hours, overnight, uh, even up to two days in the fridge. Uh, this step isn't really, I mean, it kind of is mandatory, but, you know, if you're in a pinch, if you want to make this, uh, I think you can just salt this immediately and then put it in the oven and drain off the excess liquid. Get the salt evenly distributed. Now I'm gonna cover this and put it in the fridge overnight. So the beef has sat overnight, and normally with a whole cut, you know, you'll see some liquid coming out of this, but uh, since it's ground beef, you know, it kind of just, you know, reabsorb the liquid for the most part, but that's fine. So I know this is two pounds of ground beef. What we wanna do is add a quarter pound of beef tallow per pound of beef. Here I have some leftover tallow fat from the bone broth I made the other week. Uh, so we're just going to use this. Now I'm just going to mix this together. I mean, you don't really have to. You can just throw it in the oven. It's all going to melt anyway. So now I'm going to set the oven on 300. And I'll put this in the bottom so that the top doesn't dry out. Uh, so it's about 10 o'clock right now. Uh, this clock is about 20 minutes fast because my parents are uh, losing it. Uh, but three, three hours, give or take. Uh, we'll probably check on it, you know, around the hour and a half mark. Uh, so we should be done by 1 a.m. All right, about one hour in, just check on it. So it's kind of a mix of like melted fat and beef. We definitely want to, you know, mix this in and distribute the meat so it cooks evenly. Nice and mixed up, back in the oven. Check on it in another hour. So it's been another hour, total cook time about two hours. I think we'll actually be able to take this out here and we're done. And so everything is, is really well cooked. So we're ready to, uh, to store this away in the fridge. So we are gonna strain the fat off the beef. And you can also see there's some, some water solids down there that, that wouldn't probably be there if we were using whole pieces of beef. It's just that the salt doesn't really take the water out of the ground beef that well. And the goal with the cooking process is to cook most of the water out of it. You know, so by all means, you can, you know, let this go for an hour or two longer if you didn't think you got all the moisture out. So now we have our dried beef. And we're going to put it in a, a smaller container. And, you know, guys, keep in mind, this is not designed to taste good. And you can add spices and seasonings like thyme and oregano and garlic and onions and, and various powders and spices if you want this to taste a little better. But, you know, if you're hungry, if you're actually in a survival situation and you haven't eaten in a couple days, anything is gonna taste good. So all we need to do is just cover this with fat as much as is needed. So I have to melt a little extra tallow just to cover the top. And this layer of fat is basically gonna protect the meat. Put this in the fridge freezer 
it'll solidify and this will be good for you know up to a month hopefully this helps you guys preserve some food so that you can procure nutrition for yourself and for your family uh, just in that small container you know is probably about a pound and a quarter to a pound and a half of dried beef plus you know about half a pound to three quarters of a pound of beef tallow that would sustain someone for two days if they were getting their full caloric allotment you know so you can easily make you know a month or two worth of you know high fat high quality nutrition you know something that will stay good will keep you energized and you know prevent you from losing weight that being said you know hopefully it doesn't really get to the point that we have to rely on these preserved foods uh, but you know i wouldn't be surprised if it did uh, i might do a separate video on you know i mean what foods you can get that will stay long but at this point you know there's nothing left on supermarket shelves if you guys want to stay up to date on what's going on definitely you know follow me on twitter and instagram uh, you can go to frankie Sea range meat uh, we do have some stuff back in stock you know some ground beef with organ grind uh, if you guys want to place an order for next week and we have a lot more meat coming in next week uh, if you guys want to go on organ supplements you can get you know some vitamins some you know whole nutrition organs that'll get you through this period of time if you don't have access to the foods and you can go to Frankie's Naturals if you know the stores are out of toothpaste and deodorant. Uh, I still have some here at home with me. Uh, and you can also go to frank-stefano.com. We have the carnivore diet course on sale for $20 now. Uh, it's a great one hour introduction to everything you need to know about becoming healthy uh, through an animal-based diet. Hope you guys are doing okay. Enjoy the rest of your night.